Hello everyone, this is James from 3D Printing Reviews and welcome to my video on the Flex 3D build plate. So first of all, let's have a look uh, at the actual build plate as you receive it. As you can see, you uh, receive a small sticker uh, which you can put on the side of your 3D printer. Um, the glass puck, as they call it, which is for um, printers that level by touching the hot end to the actual build plate. Uh, so what you do is you take the build plate away, put the glass puck down in its place, and then lower the hot end to the to the glass puck basically, which would then give you your level because it's the same thickness as the build plate. So you'll remember from the previous video I did uh, when I talked about the the Flex 3D build plate, uh, I was having a few problems. Uh, one of those being attaching the build plate to the bed. Um, because of the thickness of the PrinterBot Metal Plus build plate, um, I couldn't, and the way it moves backwards and forwards through through the printer, I couldn't use the supplied clips that came with the, the Flex 3D build plate. Um, so at the moment I'm using four smaller clips. Now, the problem I'm having with that is that the point of the Flex 3D build plate was it was meant to be quicker to take off a build plate, put on a new build plate and start printing again. Well at the moment I have four clips I have to take all the arms off for it to move through the, the build through the machine. Um, so that's one issue I'm having at the moment. The other more important issue I was having is the fact that the PrinterBot Metal Plus uses uh, a probe that detects the metal in the aluminium build plate um, or the bed uh, to give it a level. Now the thickness of the Flex 3D build plate meant that it couldn't detect the metal underneath. So I had a couple of issues or a couple of times where I've basically put the hot end into the build plate which has left a couple of marks. Um, so I had to come up with a solution. Now I'll admit that my solution is not the prettiest but it works. So as you can see what I've done is I've actually drilled a hole in the top of the build plate uh, and actually when I when I first did the first one I realized actually I could have done it underneath but anyway um, so what that does is I've then embedded uh, a washer in the top so it's just level with the the surface of the build plate which then allows my probe to detect the metal in the three areas that it needs to um, and then using the M212 g-code command I can give it an offset which then allows me to print perfectly as you can see with this small part that I've just printed in fact um, this is a new uh, arm for the extruder on the Metal Plus to allow me to print flexible material more easily um, but as you can see it's it's stuck well to the, the build plate um, I've used a raft obviously to give it a bit more surface area but yeah I've had a few successes with the the Flex 3D build plate. Uh, I have had a couple of times where I've had the offset set incorrectly, um, and it's been too far too close to the build plate, which made the filament incredibly hard to get off. What I had to do is actually heat up the filament and the build plate from the other side, um, and then actually it peeled off quite well. So I was lucky that I haven't. Um, scratch the top or well I suppose scratching the top wouldn't really make a difference because it's rough anyway but I haven't put any big gouges in the, the build plate itself um, so yeah I'm quite happy with the build plate so far okay so let me see if I can show you how um, you take prints off the build plate so once you've printed it like this um, what you're supposed to do is flex it each in each direction and you can you can probably hear that making a cracking noise um, and you just keep doing that and then it just pops off like that obviously it's left um, a part of the the raft behind but that should come off pretty easily yet yeah. just peels off lovely um, and then we've got our print come off straight away okay so overall my thoughts on the flex 3d build plate are that it's a brilliant idea. Um, I kind of wish that I'd gone with 
the system rather than the simple option and the system being um, that has a frame around the build plate as well so the frame is permanently on the printer and the build plate comes out of the frame uh, <clears throat> um, but yeah the, the idea is brilliant my only concern is that I've read that they've had a few problems with um, some warped plates um, and at the moment for me the time to take to put the build plate on and off is not really worth the effort I could just put some build tack down or even some blue tape and I'd have the same sort of quality of um, adhesion to the bed however if I can work through work a solution out for attaching it to the bed quicker um, then it works fine it works brilliantly my simple modification to the build plate I could have done better but the idea works and that really is all I needed to do with the the build plate to get it to work um, I may get another one in the future and come up with a different solution um, but at the moment yeah I'm quite happy with it uh, if you've liked this video please like comment and subscribe uh, until next time Keep on printing.